Let me tell you a joke that is all about shit. Many years ago, in the 16th and 17th centuries, everything had to be transported by ship. And it was also before the invention of commercial fertilizers. So large shipments of manure were quite common. It was shipped dry because in dry form, it weighed a lot less than when wet. But once water at sea hit it, not only did it become heavier, but the process of fermentation began again, of which a byproduct is methane gas, of course. As the stuff was stored below decks in bundles, you can see what could and did happen. Methane began to build up below decks. And the first time, someone came below at night with a lantern. Boom. Several ships were destroyed in this manner before it was determined just what was happening. After that, the bundles of manure were always stamped with the instruction, stow high in transit, on them, which meant for the sailors to stow it high enough off the lower decks, so that any water that came into the hold would not touch this volatile cargo and start the production of methane. Thus evolved the term SHIT, stow high in transit, which has come down through the centuries and is in use to this very day. All right, so buckle up. The history was just the appetizer. Now let's serve the comedian main course. As it was still in the olden days where farmers had not discovered the new technology of toilets and still used outhouses. This one farmer wasn't just fond of his outhouse, he worshiped it. He sang shanties to it, offered it sacrifices of corn cobs, and swore it was responsible for everything, from bumper crops to his prize-winning rooster, singing like Beyonce. And one day, this farmer's son got a girlfriend from the city where toilets were upgraded till the level, where it flushes when you are done. The kind of toilet that sings lullabies to you. The son wanted to bring his girlfriend home to meet the parents. But here was one thing that stopped him, his father's outhouse. So the son went to his parents' house on this farm and told them about this girl that he wanted to bring home. But the only problem is, the outhouse. Oh no, there is no way. I will be getting rid of the outhouse. We use it when nature is calling, and I use it every morning to plan on how I will be managing this farm to keep it on its legs. So no, there is no way that I will install a high technology toilet for only that reason. The father said with a stern voice, scared to lose his most favorite historical item in the household. So, the son went to the mother with hope in his pockets to maybe convince her to replace the outhouse for a new toilet. The son stood in front of his mother with sparkling eyes, hoping that his childhood trick would help to get a new toilet. But this time, that did not work. Oh no, there is no way. Your father uses that toilet to plan how he will be managing the farm each day. And without him planning how to manage the farm, we will be losing the farm in just a few weeks. And then, what will we have then? And all that, just for a city girl that had no old modern lifestyle in her life. So, no, the mother said with a stern voice. The son was shocked. His mother was even more demanding than ever before. But he did not worry about that any longer. He just wanted to get rid of that outhouse. So, he sat aside, planning his master plan to get rid of that hideous outhouse. That will, without a doubt, cost him his girlfriend. A few moments later, the son got a master plan lined up. He thought of the olden days, when outhouses blew up because of all the gas, but their outhouse has not blown up yet. So, 
he will make sure that it blew up. And either way, his parents might as well get a new toilet. So, he brought some dynamite from the best sellers to make sure the plan go accordingly. He strolled to the outhouse, not just walking, but performing a dramatic waltz of anxiety. Each step echoed with the impending doom of the porcelain throne. With shaking hands, he lit the fuse like a maestro igniting, a grand finale, then sprinted to his hiding spot behind the pig pen, adopting a dramatic crouching pose worthy of a Shakespearean warrior while he sat there, waiting for the best explosion of his life. Something caught his eye. Dad shot past, like a runaway combine fueled by moonshine, his overalls flapping in the wind, like a scarecrow auditioning for the Olympics. The outhouse, his sanctuary, was calling, and he was answering faster than a rooster on Red Bull. The son thought to himself that his father would also be blown up with the outhouse. The son sprinted across the sky, legs pumping like a tangerine on roller skates, trying to escape its alarm clock. And the father seeing his son also running towards the toilet and thought to himself, well, I need the toilet too, but I must really be the first one there. The father went into the outhouse and when the son wanted to warn him, boom, it was too late. The father and the son stood up, scattered by the explosion, walked up to each other, covered in shit. The son asked, Dad, are you okay? The father replied, yes, I'm good. Your mom would be very happy that I didn't let that one go in the house. <laughs> if you liked this video, please keep watching for our next video by clicking here.